No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey guys, this is Andy with No Film School. We're here with Alex and we're here to talk about the new compact servo 18 to 80 millimeter. I personally think it's revolutionary, especially at the price point. It's going to be, I think, about $5,500, somewhere in that neighborhood. It's a combination of actually three different types of lenses. It's a, a broadcast style lens, it's a cinema servo lens, and it's also a version of our EF lens. And really what it is, it's a very small cinema lens. So you're getting minimal breathing, you're getting declicked iris, so you can actually do those in-camera iris adjustments. This is the auto iris functionality that comes from a broadcast style lens. You've got the cinema kind of look with the red back and then you've got the stabilization and uh, autofocus that you get from a EF still lens. It's got three stabilization modes and it's really just for intensity. So if you're on like for vibrations, if you're hand holding, if you're out, popped out of a car or something like that, you'll probably want the most intense mode on A. If you're more on a tripod but you want a little bit, you go to the C. 77 millimeter front diameter so your filters will still work on it. We've also developed a grip for it that can be mounted onto a handheld rig or directly on the lens if you kind of want to operate it like up here. But right now the strength is the EF mount on the Canon camera and the EF mount on the lens. So what we've done is we've really taken the best attributes of three lenses and kind of put them together. It's just a really incredible technology to get out of this price point. The, the value of this lens can work in so many different environments. So this is the ME200. It's our second in our multi-purpose series. It's a smaller sensor. So the ME20 was the original camera that came out, had a very large sensor inside of it, so you needed certain lenses to really make it work. But now what we've done is we've taken the C100 Mark II sensor, which is a super 35 size sensor, and we put it inside the same box. So you're getting an extra stop in low light. But what's really great about this that you couldn't get in our original ME20 is dual pixel autofocus. So you absolutely need an external recorder, external power to work with this. Absolutely, yeah. Again, it's multi-purpose, so the whole idea was let's make it really simple. The menu systems are really simple. I mean, if you look up, if you hit the menu button here, you can actually see it looks very, very simple. So it's very, very good at doing one thing, which is just putting out video. And the ME20, which is kind of the big brother to this camera, is really good at low light. So if you're someone who uses a C100 Mark II now and you use maybe an Atomos or an Odyssey and you go to a secondary recorder, this is kind of the, a perfect camera for you because it's got a little more of that functionality that you're looking for. SDI outputs, you've got, uh, you also have the HDMI, but you've got four pin power, gen lock, you're not getting XLR inputs. You're getting a smaller, more you know compact body, you're getting a stronger mount, and you're getting our dual pixel autofocus, and it's much lighter. About how much does that weigh? It's like two and a half pounds, and it's got our really strong locking cinema lock, which is our EF, but it looks like PL, the, the mount actually spins. This, this is a B4 to EF mount. It's taking a smaller lens uh, image circle and actually being able to cover the Super 35 size sensor. So the idea is because we have power and stuff for these servo lenses, all of these B4 mount lenses that are out in the world will actually still work on this camera. Uh, what are the output signals that it can do? So it's basically just an uncompressed HD signal that's coming out of the SDI ports and the HDMI port. So the top port is actually uh, has all your info, so it's how you're going to control the camera. It'll actually burn the info into the uh, image if you keep it on. But you can turn it on and off. The second one is our record out, and it's clean. So you'll never get you know on-screen displays on the second port. And uh, what are the max resolution and frame rates? So you can do HD up to 5994, 5994i. Um, so you can do some slow motion on it, 2398, 2997, and it'll do uh, 25 in uh, PAL mode as well. If you're like a C100 Mark II, but you're looking to maybe build it up a little bit more, you wanted more of a cinema style body where it's flat and you can kind of rig it out, this might be the right product for you. And we brought the price point down to about 5,000 or so, 5, or 5,500. So it's one of the, we haven't really officially announced the price yet. When is this going to be shipping? It's supposed to be either this month or late next month. I'm not 100% sure on that actually, but pretty soon. So this is our ME20F-SH is actually the full name for it. Now what we're showing here is actually a prototype. This is a PL mounted. We only have it in EF right now. We're showing it uh, the PL that we can do the technology. We're, we don't really have any plans yet to put this out as a real product, but essentially we wanted to see if people were interested in kind of a full frame PL mounted sensor. It's so good in low light that you can actually light with practical sources. You can actually put up desk lamps and things and use them as key lights. So you're giving your actors more freedom. You know, there's more room. You can do 360 degree coverage without having to do a lighting grid. You can do nighttime stuff and it looks natural. But what's so exciting besides the low light capabilities, which everyone kind of knows about the 4 million ISO, 
It's a full frame cinema camera. There's no one else who really has that right now in any cinema style product. You've got the 5D Mark II and Mark III, and you've got A7S, which has those larger sensors. But when we're talking about an actual cinema product that you take onto a narrative or documentary style um, shoot, this is the first camera with that size sensor in it. Now, we're not talking resolution, we're just talking sensor size. So it's like when you put that lens the first time on a 5D Mark II or a Mark III, and you got that wonderful bokeh, or you got that really shallow depth of field. That's kind of what you're getting now from this type of camera. It's much, much more sensitive in the depth of field than uh, any of our Super 35 cinema products. So people are loving that look of it. It's a very clean, really clean HD signal, and it's that full frame sensor. That's what it is. It's a unique tool that you're not getting from a lot of other products. Uh, can I ask price point and release date? So ME20 is out. It's $20,000. Again, it's our first camera in our multi-purpose system. It's the big brother or so to our ME200 we just announced. It's best to think of this camera not only as the best low-light camera in the world, but also as a full-frame cinema camera.